שיר המעלות ממעמקים כרתיך אדוני אדוני שמעה בקולי פשוט מהר רבותיי ודפמש ינוף השם I hope you're okay, you have a good week. I hope that you're back home safely. I would like my friend to see this Dvator and the memory of my mother. May her soul rest in peace. When Hashem gives the Torah to the Bnei Israel, The parasha of Baitro said that Yitro, that he was the father-in-law of Moshe Rabbeinu, when he heard all the miracles that Hashem did to the Jewish people, and now the Jewish people, they, were, they got their freedom, and they left Egypt, Something happened. Yitro decided right away to go to the desert. Yitro was a big priest. Yitro was a wealthy man. Very honorable man. But what Hashem did to the, to the world The miracles that he did in Egypt, but all that he was very snob, arrogant. He declared, who is like you, Hashem? All his big army was drowning in the sea. The Jews took from Egypt all their wealth. The Jews in the desert, they eat. Food comes from the Shamayim, from the, the man, from, from the sky. Water and abundance in the desert. No warm, no cold. A fair weather. All this, and beside this, Hashem he protected the Jews with seven clouds. That no one can hurt them. He too decided to come. He took with him Tzipporah, the wife of uh, Moshe, and the two children, Eliezer and Gershon. And the Torah give a reason why Moshe Rabbeinu, he named Gershon, and the reason why he named Eliezer, Eliezer. And the Torah explained that Moshe named Gershon when he was born, that he should remember that he lived in a strange country. Kiger Gershon, from the word Kiger Haiti Beris Nochia. Moshe Rabbeinu felt that he was, a stra- he was living in Midian, a strange country, but because his country, is, Moshe Rabbeinu belonged to Egypt. He was born in Egypt, his parents are in Egypt, or his family is in Egypt, but he couldn't go to Egypt because Pao they want to kill him. So it was so sad that he couldn't be with his parents, with his people. So he called his son Gershon, ah, because I live in an I uh, in a strange country. So that always uh, And the ways, you know, that as we help him, that hey, as long as I live, and this world is a st- strange world, but the real world is up there, Gan Eden, the paradise. Here, we are only tourists, we are only uh, in, a, in a vacation. I mean, how long you can live? 100 years? It's a vacation. So, Moshe Rabbeinu wanted to remember 
to remind himself that I am only a strange man in this world. And then the second day, Eliezer, why he called him Eliezer? Because Eliezer, Hashem, protect me. Because when Paro heard that Moshe killed an Egyptian, Moshe, uh, Paro wanted to kill Moshe, and Moshe ran away. So, so he will not, so that he will not forget the miracle that Hashem did with him. So he named his second son Eliezer. Eliezer, Eli, God Hashem protected me from the hand of Paro. Okay, that what, what that why Moshe Rabbeinu named Gershon, and that why he named Eliezer. And that's what the Torah said. When Yitro came, he came with Gershon. Why he came with, why the Gershon is Gershon? Because Moshe Rabbeinu wanted to remember that I am strange in this country. And then he came with Eliezer. Why, why Eliezer, his name is Eliezer, to remember that Hashem protects me from the hand of power. But I have a big question. Why we have to, to tell those reasons here in Parashat Yitro? I don't understand what the reason. So what? We know already that Moshe Rabbeinu, in the previous parasha, when Moshe Rabbeinu married Zipporah, and he had Gershon, he named Gershon because he was in a strange country. Then he had a second boy, Eliezer, because Hashem protected him from the end of, of, of Paro. So why this repetition again now? Why Yitro was going, taking Zipporah, the daughter of Yitro, and the wife of Moshe, to Egypt with their two children? Why this repetition? Why? Why? Why the Torah talk to us about the, the names? Why? The, the reason of these names? What, 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 I mean, what, what the Torah want to teach us? But, you know, when the Torah said something, in everything there is a reason. If the Torah repeats it, repeats uh, why Moshe give the name to Gershon because X is, why Moshe give the name of uh, of uh, of uh, Eliezer because uh, if the Torah repeats again, there is a reason. What a reason? Because we know. Why what this repetition? The Torah should have said that Yitro he heard all the miracles that Hashem did to the Egypt. To the Jews in Egypt, he heard that uh, uh, all the miracles. So he came with, so he bring Zipporah and her children, Gishon and Eliezer. That's it. Can you imagine that? We we don't know who is Eliezer, who is Gishon. We know because we already. And the previous parasha, the Torah gave the reason. So why, my friend, I, I was thinking that there is a special reason. You have to know that why how the Bnei said the Jews in Egypt they were not assimilated can you imagine they were slaves for 400 years? For 400 years, you could really be assimilated. But what st put them together not to be assimilated isn't... I mean, can you imagine they suffered so much? And what kept them to be Jew? You know what? You know what? Because they did not change their name. They did not change their language. They always spoke Hebrew. Their name, Jewish name. And uh, they did not change their clothes. So you could recognize a Jew by his clothes, by his name, by his uh, language. That's what keep them. Because they had no Torah. They were slaves. 
so not to be lost completely so that there will be no they will not be uh, uh, they will not disappear they keep their names every Jewish man he gives to his newborn when he has a son he gives him a Jewish name and he teaches him the Jewish language and Jewish clothes that's what helped them so now Moshe Rabbeinu when he ran away from Egypt and after a lot of years I cannot tell you at what age he ran away from Egypt or what I tell you when Moshe Rabbeinu married Tzipora he was a little bit maybe around 75 or 78 he was quite an old man because don't forget Moshe Rabbeinu lived 120 years and he was 40 years in Egypt excuse me 40 years in the desert with the Jews so let's see he was a little bit few years less than 80 the time that he got married he has two children and the time that he went to Egypt to deliver the Jews from Egypt maybe it was around 75 76 he was an old man and now the time that when he had Gershon and he had Eliezer well he gave them Jewish name too even that he was a Midian and there were no Jewish people there he gave them Jewish names why he gave them Jewish names so always we remember they are Jewish when Hashem he said to Moshe Moshe you have to go to Egypt to deliver the Jews he left his children in Midian with his father-in-law Yitro and of course Tzipora she was alone with the children of Moshe because Moshe Abinu her husband left her to go to Egypt and she remained herself and now this is the reason why when Yitro came with Tzipora and the, the children now you understand why the Torah repeats the reason why Moshe gave them Gershon and is it to to teach us that all the time Tzipora she made sure that so that the children who remain Jew so she had to act like the Jewish people in Egypt what they, what they did in Egypt they did not change the name they did not change the clothes they did, they did not change the language I would like to ask to tell you something incredible I'm sure that when Yitro he met Moshe Rabbeinu in the desert he speak with him Lashon HaKodesh, Hebrew the holy language I'm sure that Elias and Gershon they speak the Jewish language that Jewish language Yitro he knew it because don't forget that Yitro he was one of the advisor of Paro he was in Egypt a long long time and he ran away from Egypt why he ran away from Egypt because Paro he has two advisors he had, he had three advisors Job Iov Bilam and Yitro 
But I will ask them, how can destroy the Jews and will make them being slaves that never they can get out from Egypt? So Bilam said, you have to give them a lot of work. Don't give them time to breathe. Okay? And do you tell what you, what you think? Well, I think that you have to be careful. The Jews are dangerous. Because their God, Hashem, He can punish you. Don't forget. They are the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Yaakov. Remember what happened to, to Pao when he wanted to touch, when he took Sarah away from, uh, from Abraham. Hashem punished him. I don't, I don't advise you to have any relationship with them. Uh, let them. So Pao, he said to Job, to Job, and do you know what you think? He, Job, he did not answer. He said, I have no advice to give you. Do as you want. But Pao was so angry against Hitler, and he wanted to kill him. So Hitler ran away from there. But Hitler, he, he knew the language because he was there in Egypt. And he was with the Jewish people. He learned the, the language with, so probably he teach it to Tsipora. And Tsipora, she was talking, she, so you understand, and Tsipora, she teach the children Jewish language. So that what keep Tsipora with the children Jew far away from Moshe Rabbeinu. And this is the reason why the Torah repeat. When it came to, to the desert with Tsipora and the children, what meant the children to be Jew? What pushed Tsipora to come to receive the Torah, not stay Midian? Because she lived a Jewish life. She did not change the, the name, not the language, and not the clothes. Not only for her, for the children too. Well, my friend, this is something to learn. Today, my friend, we never know what can happen to any one of us anywhere in the world. I will not know. One thing I have to tell you, the only thing that can keep us a good Jew, not to change the name, not to change the language, and uh, the clothes. And this is some, that's what kept the Jews in Egypt. My friend, I would like to wish you a good week, a good Matan Torah. May Hashem give you all what you need. Thank you very much. <laughs>